Hey, welcome to Wagner Speed Shop. In today's video, I'll be showing you an update on my 1956 Chevy truck. It's got an LS swap Mustang II, coilovers in the back. Here we go. So we'll start up front. So it's still in the original frame, front to back. It's just got a Mustang II up front. It's got a four link in the back. And then the engine is a 4.8 liter with a 4L60E behind it. Pretty basic engine, just, you know, cam springs, gaskets. It's got a Holly high ram on it now, but I'm gonna put the high ram and my Maverick over there and swap over the sheet metal intake onto this. So next steps, I'll be putting in the brake master cylinder, put it on the wall, and then I will be putting on the control arms, kind of finishing up the front end as well. Then out in the back, I have the Performance Online four link kit as well. So this is a quote unquote bolt on kit. It's really not quite that. I spent 90% of the time modifying everything. Um, it is a nice kit overall. It's just the instructions are terrible. Not much guidance online and their tech support was not too great to be honest. But I'll be making another video on this, just kind of showcasing, you know, what's good, what's bad and everything in between. So it's a simple four link. It's got an Explorer 88 rear end, 373 gears, disc brakes. Uh, so I'm still working on getting all this finished up. It's just mocked up for now. Moving on to the interior. It's beat up, it's patina, it's an old farm truck, you know. So might scuff and paint the dash, maybe the doors. I picked up this bench seat out of like a early 90s Chevy truck or something. Uh, Overall, cab is in pretty good condition. No, and the floors is not really a whole lot of rust. Steps, I mean, there's some rust. The worst is, you know, in these corners. So the previous owner cut the cab corners out and I do have some new sheet metal for the inner cabs as well. Um, same with the other side. I mean, it's pretty far gone and the inner step is the same. Um, but overall, it's a good truck. It's all orange, basically all the sheet metal is, besides the uh, blue doors I had to swap on because the other orange doors were in pretty rough condition. And then going for, you know, kind of a almost show quality, not quite, but just a good street truck. Put in this B-rolled firewall, just, you know, cleans everything up in the engine bay. Looks really nice. It does look good with the high ram in there, but unfortunately that's going in the Maverick. But yeah, and then next videos, I'll probably be finishing up uh, the four link in the back, kind of showing you the good and bad of that, everything in between. If you're looking at this kit, I mean, it is a budget friendly kit, which is why I went with it. But, you know, with budget, you know, you gotta expect to do some modifications as well. But that's gonna be it for this video. Oh, and also in some future videos, we'll be working on the Maverick as well, putting on that Holly High Ram. Maybe some new fuel lines, just kind of servicing everything on that. And then I'll also show you my 58 Bel Air. This one, I got a new distributor coming for it. I got some Dakota digital gauges. It's also on air ride as well. So I can show how I did that and kind of some pitfalls and things to look out for if you're looking to bag yours. Well, that's gonna do it for now. Thank you for watching.